ye weary wayfarer his ballad in eight fits fit eight by adam lindsay gordon read for librivox dot org by carolyn fit eight finis exoptatus a metaphysical song there's something in this world amiss shall be unriddled by and by tennyson boot and saddle see the slanting rays begin to fall flinging lights and colours flaunting through the shadows tall onward onward must we travel when will come the goal riddle i may not unravel cease to vex my soul harshly break those peals of laughter from the jays aloft can we guess what they cry after we have heard them oft perhaps some strain of rude thanksgiving mingles in their song are they glad that they are living are they right or wrong right tis joy that makes them call so why should they be sad certes we are living also shall not we be glad onward onward must we travel is the goal more near riddle we may not unravel why so dark and drear yon small bird his hymn out pouring on the branch close by recks not for the kestrel soaring in the nether sky though the hawk with wings extended poises overhead motionless as though suspended by a viewless thread see he stoops nay shooting forward with the arrow's flight swift and straight away to norward sails he out of sight onward onward thus we travel comes the goal more nigh riddle we may not unravel who shall make reply ha friend ephraim saint or sinner tell me if you can though we may not judge the inner by the outer man yet by girth of broadcloth ample and by cheeks that shine surely you set no example in the fasting line could you like yon bird discovering fate as close at hand as the kestrel o'er him hovering still as he did stand trusting grandly singing gaily confident and calm not one false note in your daily hymn or weekly psalm oft your oily tones are heard in chapel where you preach tis the everlasting burden of the tale you teach we are damned our sins are deadly you alone are healed twas not thus their gospel readily saints and martyrs sealed you had seemed more like a martyr than you seem to us to the beasts that caught a tartar once at ephesus rather than the stout apostle of the genteels who pagan-like could cough and wrestle they'd have chosen you yet i ween on such occasion your dissenting voice would have been in mild persuasion raised against their choice men of peace and men of merit pompous wise and grave ephraim is it flesh or spirit you strive most to save vain is half his care and caution o'er the earthly shell we can neither baffle nor shun dark-plumed azrael onward onward still we wander nearer draws the goal half the riddles read we ponder vainly on the whole eastward in the pink horizon fleecy hillocks shame 
tis dim range dull earth that lies on tinged with a rosy flame westward as a stricken giant stoops his bloody crest and though vanquished frowns defiant sinks the sun to rest distant yet approaching quickly from the shades that lurk like a black pall gathers thickly night when none may work soon our restless occupation shall have ceased to be units in god's vast creation ciphers what are we onward onward o oh, faint-hearted nearer and more near has the goal drawn since we started be of better cheer preacher all forbearance ask for all are worthless found man must i take man to task for faults while earth goes round on this dank soil thistles muster thorns are broadcast sown seek not figs where thistles cluster grapes where thorns have grown sun and rain and dew from heaven light and shade and air heat and moisture freely given thorns and thistles share vegetation rank and rotten feels the cheering ray not uncared for unforgotten we too have our day unforgotten though we cumber earth we work his will shall we sleep through night's long slumber unforgotten still onward onward toiling ever weary steps and slow doubting oft despairing never to the goal we go hark the balls on distant cattle waft across the range through the golden tufted wattle music low and strange like the marriage peal of fairies comes the tinkling sound or like the chimes of sweet st mary's on the far english ground how my cursor champs the snaffle and with nostrils spread snorts and scarcely seems to ruffle fern leaves with his tread cool and pleasant on his haunches blows the evening breeze through the overhanging branches of the wattle trees onward to the southern ocean glides the breath of spring onward with a dreary motion i too glide and sing forward forward still we wander tinted hills that lie in the red horizon yonder is the goal so nigh whisper spring wind softly singing whisper in my ear respite and nepenthe bringing can the goal be near laden with the dew of vespers from the fragrant sky in my ear the wind that whispers seems to make reply question not but live and labour till yon goal be won helping every feeble neighbour seeking help from none life is mostly froth and bubble two things stand like stone kindness in another's trouble courage in your own courage comrades this is certain all is for the best there are lights behind the curtain genteels let us rest as the smoke rack veers to sea wood from the ancient clay with its moral drifting leeward ends the wondrous lie end of poem this recording is in the public domain